We, we should be streaming. We should be streaming. We should be streaming. Let's get this mic a little closer. Hey. Turn up. Is that better? I think so. Ooh, maybe too much. Maybe right there. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. How's everyone doing? We have made it live right at eight. No delay. We got tones. I can talk while playing guitar now. It's uh, so great. Like, I figured out the setup. <laughs> You know what's great? Now I also got wah. you're having a great Sunday night. Hope you've enjoyed your weekend like I have. It's been quite, you know, rice and relaxing for me. Do do what a but what a but don't be afraid to say hi in the chat. Like a little G major for you. You know. We just having fun. We having a good day. We having a good night.
Wanda. Man, not going to worry about it right now. That's <laughs> How you doing, my friend? So glad to see you join the stream. How's everyone's night going so far? I'm pretty chill. Just enjoying a nice day. Nice night. Hope everyone got out of that rain that was over here in California. If you know what I mean. It's kind of bad. Doing good, doing good. I'm glad you're doing good, Paul. Let's see, I was looking for one of our topics we're going to be talking about. Doo doo ba doo. Ba da ba ba. One of the topics we'll be talking about. Some great guitar tabs. Man. You know, you know, sadly, you know, one of the things we were going to talk about, it ain't going to happen anymore, sadly. But, you know, that's how eBay works. You know how that works, man. Ugh. It's great. I can talk and then get a little mixture of the talking and playing at the same time. Yeah. Just trying to have fun tonight. Why not? So yeah, so tonight's topic, if you guys know, for the past two nights, we didn't do a live stream, decided, you know, let's take a break, because this is now going to be just like a weekly thing, so we're going to figure out a good day to start doing this on, should be all good. You know, I'm trying to figure it out, you know, people got school during the week, work, and then weekends, a lot of other people are doing live streams, so it's a little hard.
else we got watching with us? Don't be afraid. Say hi in the chat. Might as well have a nice cheers to you while I take a drink.
Nightingale. Whew. Messed that up a little bit. But, you know, who cares? It's metal. It's rock and roll. <laughs> How am I getting these, these tones? Well, using my Blind 6 Amplify FX100. That's what I'm using. You know, just simple easy just direct i'm actually using the left mono uh main output into just one of my my first input my audio interface that's how it's going because the left one's also mono just makes it easier it does have the usb direct but yeah i don't want it fuck it why why <laughs> Why? And then you can hook it up Bluetooth to your phone, which then just open up the tones, man. You have tones to choose from. Cabinets. Sometimes what I'll do with this is I'll just turn off the cabinet of the inside and use an IR that I'm using in Reaper. I was actually testing that out last night using this through an orange, basically, IR, like an orange amp IR. And... It was sounding killer. Metallica. I'm just gonna play Am I Evil though, because that one's way more fun to play. Well, I don't. It's not. I don't know if it's more fun to play. If, well, certain parts is. I think certain parts is definitely more fun to play. Sorry, I got my headphones all looking all funky. Oh, this side's got all the hair backed up into it. So beautiful. Love my hair. But, but yeah, no, you gotta love Metallica. Usually, I'm playing Am I Evil. Metallica. 
Love the Metallica. Thanks to my parents. I love the Metallica. Metallica. <laughs> solo in a while now yeah I'm getting sick of the headphones they're annoying me they're on my face no got the hair beautiful free <laughs> Just in case I need to know reference tones. talking that's guitar playing that's guitar playing let's go back to some talking you know what I mean sorry I look over here this is where my monitor is so I can see my beautiful face but watch out here right here right here you know, me and you you know how it is but today we're gonna be looking at a couple things if you look Let's start with this middle thing rather than starting off with the guitar tabs. Because I'm thinking the guitar tabs, just what I'm going to show you if you're someone who plays guitar and knows a little theory, you know, just like a little bit, you know, you know how to play a simple scale in like one mode, one way. Um, not mode, but like, yeah, just like one way. You know, one box. Like, this is how I learned my scales when I was playing bass. So. Simple, but man, my guy, Robert Baker, whew, you just blew my mind. Go check out on his channel, his free fretboard decoder. Man, will this thing just blow your mind? Check this out. Bloop. Now we're over here. Now look. Okay, let's see if I can zoom in. I should be able to zoom in on this. Shoop, doop, shoop, shoop, shoop. Mm-hmm. And there's some of you. So, just in case some of you, we got the actual notes. And we 
we got tabs, you know. Me personally, I'm a tab guy. Uh, when I play bass, I do read actual notes. Um, just when it comes to guitar, it's a little, it just kind of, it gets, whew. but, you know. You know, here is, let's, let's go back to the big screen. So, here is how I learned a G major scale, you know. You know, simple, just like right here, you know, first five, basically, you know, this is, this is my home, right here, top five frets, my home, I know how to do all that, all the way up, you know. But, when I saw the fretboard decoder, at first I was like, okay, and then, it's just like, whew, it blew my mind. I just went up. I just went up two octaves. Yeah. Two octaves. Sorry for getting a little theory. You know, two octaves. You know, before, I was figuring out, it was like... <laughs> so, not... It was a lot more difficult, you know, it was like, okay this it's like okay now we're completely changing patterns now which i got it kind of confused me now with this oh Just make it easy. Go. Go three notes, so above this scale. But it makes it sound good. It makes it sound musical. And then, you know, you start expanding it with octaves. I'm not going to go into it. This is actually as much as I'm going to go into. There's so much more. I'm only showing you the first two, basically. Um, and it's insane. You know, three, five, seven, three, five, seven. Then you go five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine. Just keep moving up the strings. One string, three notes per string. And then eight, ten, twelve. Just paid three octaves. I'm just like, what? How did I do this? Wait, I did this in one night. I figured out about this last night, and I've been seeing the thing about Robert Baker's fretboard decoder, and it just, I downloaded it just looking at it super late last night, and it looks crazy. You don't have to take it this fast. I definitely don't. You know, go at your own speed. That's what I say, you know. And it just, it comes up with these really great exercises that you can use to further on your learning. So. Can you do it backwards? Sorry, a little hiccup, but 
Do you hear it? Do you hear the, like, the difference now doing that than going? Like, that's it. It's all... It's all. I think this is now way better. And you know, take it at your own speed, change it up, change up the rhythms, you know, do anything you want with it. it and the great thing is, this is all free. It's free, my friends free you gotta check it out it is so worth it hey look i'm looking at myself <gasps> double screen meta <laughs> we pull in a deadpool man but yeah i just wanted to talk about that it is just been crazy i showed you only a couple of the exercises and it's just blew my mind i'm still just working on the first page and whatnot um he has once you 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 like so basically you subscribe to his mailing list you know don't blame me it's a good mailing list don't get me wrong for you guitar and bass players or anybody that wants to learn music and stuff especially for beginners intermediate people and then he's definitely got advanced stuff learning how to pick up your speed and doing other things and it's oh, it's awesome i really want to buy his course set but i am broke right now when his sale is going on so, hopefully, he'll do another sale soon. I know he will. He's great about those. But, so, another thing we were gonna talk about. So, for the past two days, I've been on a bidding war on eBay. And I'm trying to basically get just a cheap Squire bullet. Or, you know, just a cheap Squire. I just hear the bullet is a good range. Um... You know, good, reliable, cheap range. Something, it's something I can mess with. Something I can totally trick out. I've never really messed with guitars and guitar tech and whatnot. So, I want to start doing that. I'm already, I've ordered stuff for fretting and stuff. And I'm going to be doing that on my inexpensive Ibanez in the back that I paid 150 for. So, I was trying, let's check it out, but. Shaboyam. It's a, you know, bullet, bullet Squire Mustang in white. He's trying to get it, you know, but I, at this point, I ain't paying 100 bucks for it. It's still a good price for it, don't get me wrong, but just not what I want to pay for what I'm going to do. Plan on relicking it. I know it might sound like a bad idea, but... For if I can find the right guitar and the right price range, something that I can just relic mod and just trick out just some cheap guitar and just make it play and look really nice, you know, I think that's the best. And I was thinking, you know, white because I think that's going to relic the best. Um, I almost did thought about black but then I was like mm, I don't know then you know when I think about it it's I'm thinking about um when I'm thinking about the relicking I'm thinking like Hendrix relicking stuff like that so that's what I'm looking towards like moving towards that's what it's gonna be saving up for let me know what your thoughts are on that I think it's going to be a great idea. I don't care what anybody else thinks. I'm still going to do it. But it's going to be just a little fun project I do. Yeah. How's everyone doing? Chat's a little quiet. 
hoping you're enjoying the tone that we're getting out of the last thing I guess we're going to talk about. But I guess it's not the last thing. It's just the last thing put up. I don't put up everything we talk about because it would just make the title way too long. You know? Like, you don't need 50 million words. Sorry about that. Got a little sidetrack. I was looking at our next thing we're going to look at after, you know, play some good music, good tones. Any songs out there you guys want me to play? Good reference tones. Good reference tones. Check something out by our good friend Angelo or TF Snake. You know, hopefully he's watching the live stream, him and his girlfriend. Hopefully you guys didn't just hear those vibrates off the microphone stand. He designed his own custom guitar. Hey, ooh. Oh, dude. Dude. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hop on the live stream so I can talk with you. Oh, man. Hop on the live stream so we can talk this beauty yo Angelo hop on we gotta talk about this thing I'm gonna set this stuff up so we can see this oh my gosh this was a beautiful looking guitar I was just seeing um some guitars that kind of had that same type of color scheme with the grayish white type of stuff and man does it look killer pulling up the Facebook that's how he talked to me on this you know Hopefully he starts chatting in this live, you know, I, I need this guy, you know, Angelo, TF Snake, man, he was there, he came nam with me, we had an amazing time, I hope he had as much fun as I did, even though I came home with this beauty, you know, but this guy, great guitar player, 
Go check him out, TF Snake. Um, you know, thing is, is, we need to get him better equipment. You know, you know, but because sometimes you know, you know, getting that phone just recording sometimes isn't the greatest. We need to get you something. You need to hit up that Band Lab guys more often. You know, get that endorsement from them, my friend. Where you at? A little choppy. Where are you, Angelo? Angelo. Don't forget to sign in to your YouTube account. Snake in the house. All right, now that he is here, now that he is here, we can check out this beauteous, beauteous guitar. Please tell me I can just go like this. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, I want to me jazz. I'm just gonna save this image, make it easier. So that we're not blah blah blah. -ing. Save these images real quick. Saving, saving, saving. Glad you have joined us, Angelo, TF Snake, D Man. Hope you just listen to the endorsement I just gave you. Oh, I should probably change this to live chat, not top chat. Live chat, live chat. And there we go. But yeah. Man, Angelo. You, you, man, you need to hop on these live streams more often. Miss you out here. We miss you out here, man. You need to come over to the studio so we can get this live stream going again, man. I'm tell I I think I got the setup, man. <laughs> Funny, I'm getting some maddening with Vartan. I have a new phone now. Hell yeah. Oh, you playing some Madden? You playing some of that Madden on your PS4? Yeah, man, you gotta... We gotta get you back over here, man. We gotta get you back to the studio so we can get this live stream going. <laughs> So I think I figured out, I think I got a way that makes it so we both can play guitar possibly. Maybe. Well, well. Let's have like a nice mic set up for both of us. Just one right here in the middle. Smack dab in the middle for us. You know, I gotta go. I did get an, oh, hmm. I guess we'll talk about one more thing. I gotta find it. I think it's in that box. Over there. But got to remember. Remember. Remember, member berries. <laughs> Gotta have my member berries. 
Do you remember? You remember? You remember? <laughs> Fucking, who remembers that South Park episode? That was a good South Park episode, I must say. I think. But yeah, since Angel is not here, let's let's look at this guitar. But that custom idea, yeah, that's that's what I was literally getting to. Um, literally, we we're just getting to this. Let's I'll full screen this. So let's look at this. Ugh, that's that's dirty. That's ugh. what is it? Seven string Halo. Ugh, beautiful. That's like that black and white. You know, do they call it dog hair? Is that what their technical term for it is? You know. And the berries, <laughs> but yeah, no, is dog hair? Is that what their like technical term for that is? You know, Ooh. going double screen, wait for it. You wanna see? You gonna see two of us, four of us, maybe. <laughs> There's two of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is it. But yeah, we're looking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it happens. But you know, you don't. I don't think so. You don't think so? What? I forget what I was saying. We're talking about your Halo. You know how much? How much would that thing be, man? You know that's my that's my true question. How much? How much is that guitar gonna be? You know, how much is that? Yeah, how much is that guitar gonna be? But that guitar itself is ash, as the core wood. So is the main body, it's an ash body. Ash body with a no top, no top, just straight, is that straight ash? Just straight ash on the top? Cause like this, 3000? Oh dang, man, you can find, uh, I don't know man, you can find better guitars for three grand. I think you can find better guitars for three grand, to be honest. Like, I understand it's a custom shop, you know, and definitely, like, bucket list want to. For three grand, do you have that money right now? And do you really want to save up that much right now? You know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, it, it also depends on your situation, depends on your, you know. Now, the top near is uh, Bush something. Okay. Okay. Neck is stained ebony. Stained ebony? Okay. Oh, you mean the fretboard? You mean the fretboard? It was a rosewood fretboard that's stained ebony. Is that what you mean? Ah, uh, yeah. It's nice, nice. I mean, ooh, 50, so basically, you put down 1,500 right now. I mean, ah, uh, the Fishman Fluence Moderns, though. I mean, that is, that's good. Those are definitely great. And it's a neck through, so it's made out of one, I mean, yes, no, it's, don't get me wrong. It is not a bad guitar. I just think maybe you could possibly find something else, you know, kind of in the same area. You know, I was just wa you know, go check out this guy, guy on YouTube. Um, here, let me pull him up. I will pull him up. His name is, it's, it's, uh, if you're, depends on if you want a brand new one and, or if you want a custom shop and stuff like that. But let's see, what's his name? It is Guitar Pit. I think it is a top hit, I wanna say it is. Guitar pit, guitar pit. I believe it is the guitar pit. 
Sounds like I'm saying the guitar carpet. Yeah, but the guitar pit. This guy. Let's see. Blam. This guy right here. Check this guy out. He does this cool thing where he has a let's buy a guitar episode thing every week. And he goes on reverb and just checks out um, guitars all the time. And, you know, you can find something quite like that. Literally, like on his last episode, he was looking at um, something that looked just like yours. Like that same color, same type for like maybe like a thousand less. But don't get me wrong, like, uh, did you, was Halo at Nam? My friend? Was Halo guitars at Nam, my friend? Uh, I can't remember if they were. I didn't see them. To be honest. I didn't see them, but, you know. Man, but, you know, do blam, bah. Yeah, they had both, I think. Yeah, they had a booth, I think. Did you go by? Or, you think? Uh, I'm guessing then you didn't stop by it, then try out the... Did you, yeah, I was asking, did you try out a Halo guitar? That's the thing. Like... That's the thing. When you're paying up to that much money, I... You should definitely try before you buy. When you're paying like three grand, yeah. Like I didn't, I didn't have to try before I bought this because I didn't buy it. <laughs> Gripentino. Oh, so they're located in San Jose. Okay, okay. Located in Cupertino. Okay. That's not bad. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, you probably can find, yeah, you can probably find, like, well, you can also probably go to Halo Guitar's website and find what dealers they're, uh, they got, you know, Halo Guitars. Halo Guitars. Halo Custom Guitars. Let's check this out. Let's check out the Halo Custom Guitars, people. Blam, coming up on the homepage. Nice little homepage, custom shop, and they got in stock. So, so they build their own normal ones, and they have a custom shop too. I like it. Parts and more gallery. Design your own. I like it. Uh, Joey Sturgis, Josh Wilbur. Okay, these are definitely some good names. Saying they're really good. These are not just great on stage. They're amazing in the studio. Okay. Liking the sound of that so far. Liking the sound of that. Here, I'm going to pull this over. So this is on that screen. So now, I can see you guys' chat. They have pre-made models too. I thought it was it was a strict custom. Okay. Very complex. 31 frets per octave instruments with four pickups across two discrete one-fourth inch outs as well as a 13 oh, guitar synth output okay so it's got the 13 ooh it's actually got guitar synth that's what's up use my octavias oh it's an octavia oh the halo octavia yeah i've heard about octavias yeah the octavia oh yeah i've, I've, I've heard about these guitars right here this is uh, like two grand, one grand. I'm going to tell you this. If you're going to put something down, I tell you these Octavias are really nice. I have heard lots of good things about them. You know. That's pretty nice. Bolt on neck though. Bolt on neck for a grand. Wide neck. Cause so it's a little bit wider neck. So when I'm thinking wide neck, I'm thinking like classical guitar, you know, wide neck. Um, this doesn't really have a wide neck as it has a thick neck more. Okay. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. 
maybe we should, uh, you know, customize a guitar right here, you know? Let's do it. How about the people that are watching with us right now? I'm going to put my guitar down. Not down. Put that down for now. Make sure it don't fall. And let's uh let's let's customize guitar. Why not? Ugh. You wanna do that? Let's do it. So how do we do it? <laughs> how do we do it? Go to the guitar tool. Where's the guitar tool? I'm guessing custom shop, uh, Halo custom customization tool. Yes, and that's it. Ooh, like a bass, arch top. Yeah, let's just go with this one. Let's go normal, solid body. You know, body bust. All right, we design it, we build it. You can have a blank. Look at that. Okay, okay. This is getting crazy right here. You can have a straight blank surface and create your own design, it looks like. Oh, that's pretty killer, I must say. I must say that that's pretty cool. That's is pretty cool. Um, just coming back and looking. I just wanted to look back. Angela's. So Angela, did you make that? Ooh, I'm wondering if is that a shape that you created? Is that a shape? Select blank bottles. Oh yeah. So you chose. So you straight up created your blank blank own model. Okay. I see what we're doing here. I see how we're doing it. Let's do it. All right. Blank model. You know, everyone be willing to comment things of what we should go with. I don't want this to be just me. So with a blank canvas is starting out is of 1700. Wow. 18, really. So general options, dexterity, construction method, number of strings, multi-scale fan frets, scale length. Okay. And then yeah, I'm just guessing you click on, there's pre-selection, there's an option to send in body shape too if you want. Sharpen it, garbage. Yeah, I'm definitely going forearm and belly cut. Body. Dexterity. I am right. Action method. I, I'm okay with the set neck. See you right there. Okay, so a neck through. So, let me show you this right here. Set neck and bolt on. So, I hear that, that there's really not too much of a cost difference between them. So, why are they charging an extra hundred? I mean, I guess it could be in man hours that it takes to do the set neck. I, I'll go set neck instead of neck through. I really like the set neck in my Vola. So, number of strings. <laughs> Ten strings. Let's do it. Ooh, look at that. Five posts on each side. Why do they only go up ten? I want twelve string, not ten. Twelve. Okay. How much do they charge for a seven? 
See, and it's also extra hundred. Just put an extra string. Just put a old an extra hole. I don't know. Is there really another hundred dollars to put another string? That's what you gotta think about when it comes to the custom shops. Is it truly worth a hundred dollars to literally put one string? Should we go multi-scale fan frets? Maybe. Look at that. I actually don't look bad. Actually. I kind of do want a scale length. I'm kind of 25 and a half. To be honest. And on the long side. Yeah, 28. Or is that 26? 28, yeah, that's about fine. Seems fine to me. You know, me personally, I don't have an issue. Ooh. With like different neck shapes and whatnot. Ooh, I kind of like the XSI. Chain breaker? Let's look at the chain breaker. Yep. It's back to right handed. There we go. That looks straight. Uh, what are your thoughts? Give me some thoughts. This don't look that great to me. Chain breaker, all right. I mean, if it didn't have all those bumps and whatnot in the engravings, you know, I think I would, I would go with the XSI. Kind of like the shape of that. Um, you know, give it a form and tummy tuck. <laughs> tummy tuck? Tummy cut? Forward. Kind of, to be honest, I've kind of always been a mahogany guy for my core wood. With like a nice maple top. Ooh, we could go flame maple, quilted maple, splatted maple, it's a veneer, or a cap. Ooh, we could go the Buckeye Burl cap. Extra six hundred dollars for a burl cap. Go carbon fiber. It's okay, let's see how the carbon fiber looks. That actually doesn't look bad, but you know, there's definitely something about the headstock shape that's uh, throwing me off. But we'll change that. You know, what nice walnut. Ooh, yeah. Nice walnut gives it a really nice look. <sighs> to be honest, I'm not too against veneers. It's kind of cheaper. And then ooh, you get kind of a nice binding. I think I'd like that. Nice, you know, white binding. Just simple white binding. I like white binding. Mm -hmm. Really a transparent guy. Always have been. Nice white. Ooh, white on white. Oh, there goes that. Oh well, it don't matter. Oh, 
black top. I mean, white top with a black back. I like that. White top with a black back. I like that. Looks nice. Hmm. Maybe multi scale fan for it. No. Yeah, I like that. Keys, the KSL. No, the KSI. Yeah, I really like the KSI. It reminds me of the Vola. Uh, which one? I forget which one it is. It reminds me of Vola. It was another one I tried at NAM. Great guitar. Great, great guitar. White with a gray berries. That doesn't look bad. I kind of like it. Uh, does it really need a purse? What about black? Straight black. Ooh, the black. You see, ooh, that could look really nice with that black back. And then it just comes over. Ooh. Yep. I like it. it. Reminds me a lot of what ESP did. But the thin. I did the Molly Barrel. Uh, I know, I know what she did. There, the top wood did the Molly Vertel. Molly, 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 Molly Vertel. I don't see that. What? So you did a veneer and what? Maple. There's lots of maple. Flame maple. Oh, the maple burl. Uh, okay. The maple burl. Yeah, that's good. That is nice. But you chose the thin the veneer. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. I just want walnut. Simple walnut. Like, looks really. Looks, looks good. Looks good. Like, look at those grains. Um, top binding, maybe white, nice white top binding. Oh yeah, that looked nice. And in the finish. Glass, satin, open pore satin, probably. Um, I mean, maybe just satin, actually. Give it a nice, nice matte satin look. Or, well, maybe. Yeah, let's. Yeah, just satin's fine. Nick Wood! 7 piece laminate maple walnut, 13 piece, 7 piece wange. Ooh, that wange. I'm gonna go the wange, to be honest. Because if we look the back, look the back for the wange, oof. The dark with the maple in the between, oof. 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 Man. I don't like customizing a guitar with you guys. It's pretty great, you know. Inlays, I'm all about inlays. Dots, dots, bars, shark fins. To the lab, birds in various stages of flight. Custom. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. 
for the custom inlays, they just put the word custom. It's kind of a block fan, abalone. Mm, let's go white perloid instead. That looked the best. Look, the white perloid. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. I did a maple walnut. The maple walnut neck. Yeah, that's a nice neck. Fretboard wood. I kind of. I have everything. I have ebony on my Vola. I have rosewood on my Dean. And I have maple on my GNL. So, I don't exactly have a preference. I just like them all. <laughs> I just like them all. Though, bird's eye maple. Though, bird's eye maple, though. You can't ever go wrong with that. Or some... You know, a wangay neck. I've never, I've never had a wangay neck. Might be nice to have, just, you know, try one out. Oh, Lumen Lay, always. Always go Lumen Lay for your side markers. Always. Normal craft tech night and standard. Like some six string guy, you know. It's puffling. Hmm. Don't need it. If I don't know what it is, we don't need it. Shape the headstock. Now, here's the thing. I want... Hoof. Hoof. First in line, reverse select. Some good headstocks to choose from. Definitely not either of those. Definitely not that. I don't like these alpha ones. You know, you know, I was thinking reverse in line, to be honest. I don't think that just looks great. First in line. Or normal in line. No, definitely in reverse, actually. If we're gonna do it. So let's try the reverse select. Ooh, I kinda like that. But it looks way too volish. That's the thing. That demon. Let me change the body shape actually. I don't know if I'm too liking it. I like it, but I don't know. I feel like I'm looking too much like a Vola guitar. <laughs> What's a Sephram? What's a Sephram? I don't look bad. I'm just going to change that headstock shape. Probably to the reverse. I like the reverse select, to be honest. I like the reverse select. If these were pointier, the sides were pointier. Can I get my matchings? Comments are going to be spread. No worries. You do you, my friend. Definitely not Fender. I think reverse inline body shape. What about the Lazarus? SG ish. Not a big fan. What's this inverted? Ooh. Ooh. Kind of reminds me of a Kelly ish. Out the arm over here. I kind of oh, I think that's it. Let me add. Oh yeah, 
at the reverse select. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's it. There it is. That's what I like. Liking it. I'm liking it. Angle. Do we need an angle recommended for this headstock shape? Yeah, I'm just not going to go angle. Fuck up. Not into the big angled. I like a nice volute. Uh, yeah I think it looks good um you know what do you think of hard work color I think maybe black you know pretty simple simple choice simple choice black hardware on on this um let's take the burst off I think I would want just a white guitar to be honest white guitar with a black back I think that would look really nice you know white guitar and then the full back with the back, with the Wangay neck. I think it would look really nice. It would look cool from two different angles. It would be really cool. Now what about the pickups? This is the only thing. Passive or active? Yeah, you know, I'm going passive. Bridge position. Mm. On Buckers. Got some Seymour Duncans. Demarizios. Bare Knuckles, Waller, all good brands. Lace, a dime bucker. Should we put a dime bucker in this? Should we just put a dime bucker in it? Why? Cause why not? Heard good things about the bare knuckles. I've heard good things about Demarzios too. To be honest, I think it'd be fine with C. I think it's zebra. To be honest, I think zebras. The Seymour Duncan Zebras. Yeah. I think a Seymour Duncan the JB Zebra. JB Zebra, you know. Wait. Yeah, I like that. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Locking tuners, course. Pick guard? Just need a black pick guard. Yeah, I like it. I like what's black pick guard. I know it's probably a little hard to see with, since it's a white screen background with a front, so probably a little hard to see. Um. Yeah, you know, we're, that's that's as far as we're going to get, um, truly. We're not actually buying it, but two gram, that's not bad. Now, that's not bad. Now, you see, Angela, three grand, you just got to think about what you want, what you like, and what you truly need. Do you really need some of the certain, like, top woods and whatnot, or can you go with thinner veneer? Um, stuff like that, you know, but other than that, I mean, it's pretty cool, pretty cool, Halo, you know, wish there was kind of a about section about them. It's an account login, gallery, blog, where he's like about them, I want to know about Halo guitars, not, you know, that's what I want, I want, electronics discontinued, nope, custom shop, nope, yes, 
gallery is the only other thing we can go to. And it's just pictures of the guitars. Ooh, that's nice. Definitely got some... Man, you definitely can, can... Ooh, now seeing the Saffron in person, like a person picture, that looks nice. That looks nice. Ooh, is that a bass, though? Yeah, that's a five-string bass. Oh yeah, that would be a great base shape actually. That would be a good base shape. I like it. I'm liking it. Thanks for the. Um, looks nice. You can change the background. Oh, you can. No, I did not know that. Well, too late now. <laughs> Yeah, too late now. Oh, well, but that was cool. That was cool. That was definitely, you know, something I've never done before. It's just customize my own guitar. Never done it. But, oh, look. It's back. It's still here. You can, oh, I see. I see. Just add to a black background. Ooh, that makes life so much better. You know, if I actually change it to this blue one. Then, there we go. Now you can really see the edges. Bloop. Yeah, there we go. Now you can hear my voice a little bit. A little better. A little bit. A little bit. Now we can switch the view. You can see that by back. Oof. Oh, yeah. 2100. 50% deposit. It's not bad. 50% deposit. So, 1059 for now. Mm hmm. Definitely does. Um, I think there's one thing I want to do. Top binding. Black top binding with the white. that would look great oh yeah that looks nice I'm liking it I really want a white white guitar you know I really want a black guitar I have neither I used to have a black guitar it's gone just multiple they gone they gone they gone they gone they gone now we're back to me okay check out some of these comments but yeah that was really cool thanks Angela for the tip about them They're really cool glad to see a Bay Area getting her done Yeah, that definitely that background thing saves. Yeah, it saves the guitar because it was like, you know, some things made it made it just made it blend into the background too much. But no, yeah, that was really, really cool. What not? Um, just throw this back on into tab section. That was really cool. That was definitely um, gonna be changing up the title of this video now to customizing a guitar. Which is, you know, first time I've ever done that, which is cool.
This is a tribute. Woo! <laughs> We're just having fun, 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 fun on the bun. I mean, I'm probably going to head out here soon. You know, it's already 9.30. Have we only been live for half an hour? We have not only been live for half an hour. We've been on way longer than that. It says I have, I'm over here saying an hour 45. This is over here saying 34. Man. Who knows? stuff from my old band
There it is. There it is. Hey, Angelo, you like how I'm using nice four gravity pick razor? Things thick, things beefy, beefy. You know, beefy from little Nicky. <laughs> thing we were going to talk about. It's actually how I'm getting my tones tonight and how you are hearing my beautiful Vola Blaze X in case anybody did not know. Um, I'm now, ooh, turn that back down. Uh, I'm using, you know, I'm just, I'm going straight left, left main out of this pedal um, here, I'll show you, I'll show you what this, uh, what pedal board I am using. Um, yeah, this is, yeah, this is my pedal board right here, basically, yep, yep, that is it, ah, got my hand, okay. ready, set, wow, here we are. So, Line 6 Amplify FX100, you know, it's not new in, you know, technology, or anything like that. It was just, I got this last Christmas. You guys might have, you know, saw a couple things about it on my channel and whatnot. But things actually, you know, the more I play it, the cooler it kind of gets. You know, more fun I have with it. Um, takes a set, you know, it's a line six. You know, they're not the greatest on tones. You know, the greatest on effects. Let me tell you that. Like, delays, reverbs you know, choruses, stuff like that, great, drive, and, you know, not, not the best, but I've definitely, tonight, I mean, as you guys have all heard, ooh, probably should have turned my tone up. I love, I'm actually enjoying the tone that I ended up finding and getting out of it, you know, definitely what it's, you know, you, you got to sit there and play around with it for a second, but you know, I, I don't have to pay the price that's right here. I mean, it's given to it because of some uh, mishaps between uh, apparently my mom's friend and American Music Supply where they ended up sending him two. So I ended up getting one for Christmas. <laughs> that's how that works. But great, you know, tons of effects, tons of modeling. It's, you know, it's an amp modeler, basically. You know, I'm, it's, it's not, I'm not going to go and be recording, you know, the live streams and whatnot. I'm not looking to get the 
bass tone. You know, I'm looking to get something that just is great, you know. And, you know, it's great because it has the volume and the wah and stuff. Like, the setting that I have, I can go from crunch to heavy. Like, I love that. Probably didn't hear anything, though. I can go from crunch to heavy. All because of a volume pedal. And then, just a couple simple tap, and it's a wah pedal. Now, I'm actually enjoying the floorboard. Why not? It's great little, it'd be gr it's great for live gigs and whatnot, you know. Yeah, you, know, you got everything right there in the pedal board. It's perfect. Forgot that, I, yeah. You know, it's got Bluetooth, so I actually hook it up Bluetooth through my phone. And then, yeah, you can, you, it's like, it's basically like bias effects. It's like, you know, all the other like phone modelers and whatnot that you can get nowadays and stuff. And it's great, to be honest. I love it. It's something that I can take on the go with me. Then it's like all I need is when I'm on the go and stuff, I just bring a guitar. Some, you, like if I'm going, I mean, to be honest, I bring everything with me. But um, <laughs> if I truly was just like going somewhere to be playing and I knew I wasn't going to be needing to record anything or anything like that, just bring this, my guitar, and my phone. And if I truly needed, I could... You know, there's a there is direct out there is a direct USB recording, so I could use it to record guitar. But I mean, I like the way that I have it hooked up right now. It sounds great. Um, and like I was telling you before, I sometimes hook it up to my Reaper in Reaper DAW Studio. And like I was doing that last night, hooked this up to an Orange Amp. And man, <laughs> yeah, this is just the internal, the internal cab IR that comes with the, uh, the uh, thing, and it, it's great. Well, one, uh, I think it's actually one that I specifically chose. Actually, actually. It's great. I'm loving it. Hope you guys are too. Hope you guys are loving, loving the tones as much as I am. You know, I'm gonna, let's get a little single coil. A little single coil. Let's get a single coily in here. Let's get a single coily in here. And get a little crunch test in here. <laughs> Single coils and the loving, loving the setup that I got with the Volo guitar. So great. Oh, it's every guitar in one. It's every guitar I have in one. It's perfect. <laughs> This is where we are going to say our goodbyes. Please let me know what you guys think. <laughs> let me play. Stop playing guitar. Please let me know what you guys think of the guitar tones. Please tell me. Let me know what it sounds like down in the comments down below. It'd be really great if I could get some feedback on how I sound. Make sure everything's sounding good. You know, I'm, I'm testing different ways and different things to try and get a good sound without delay and stuff like that. So, 
let me know. I wouldn't mind a little feedback and whatnot. Just leave it down in the comments down below. Um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe if you like. If you like the content, you know. Um, hopefully soon I will have... You know, I work tomorrow, but you know, after that, I'm actually going to be working on the Vola Blaze X review slash demo. That's what the words I was looking for. <laughs> um, I'm be working on that this week. Um, we got some other things I got to work on. I'm going to push this one forward over some of the other reviews I was going to do because this is such. How can you not? <laughs> How can you not? Like. <laughs> So, I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday night. Hope you have a good Monday morning and, you know, going back to work. I hope you guys have a good one. So, I will catch you guys later.